if you're not already familiar with the Internet of Things, it won't be long until you are. The Internet of Things. The Internet of Things. Imagine a world where all your home appliances and your gadgets can actually talk to each other. The Industrial Internet of Things will change virtually every single aspect of human interaction. You can park this car through your smartwatch. There's a couple of hundred eight-meter high self-driving trucks in Western Australia right now. You can think about smart sprinkler systems, a smart billing systems. But we're just at the very beginning. There's so much information, all sorts of sensors and processes working together. Connected cities, smart factories, connected industries like healthcare. There'll be massive improvements in terms of efficiency. That in turn can boost profits as much as 20%. They're talking about 50 billion connected devices by 2030. We're in the midst of a cyber physical technology revolution. The real question is, who's going to lead the way? Typically when I'm showing somebody town, I'm showing them downtown, all the restaurants, all the coffee shops, Waterloo Records, book people, you know, we've got our barbecue, the Broken Spoke, Moody Theater, you know, they call it the live music capital of the world and it's a pretty justified name. We've got a real interesting variety of people here hardware and software technology people. It's the state capital. You've got the University of Texas right downtown. So you've got a great educated population and a real dramatic economy that has transformed over the years. I mean, you've got uh, you know all these new buildings, construction going on all over the place. We've got a lot of people moving downtown. In general, a lot of traffic. Our traffic is now worse than the Big Apple, according to the National Traffic Scorecard. As a city continues to grow, we have to ask ourselves, what do we do about the challenges associated with that growth? I mean, I see Austin as a, as a microcosm of the global trend towards urbanization. And so you look at, at IoT and how that is going to be able to transform the way cities are put together. I mean, it will transform our roads, make those more efficient, our public transit systems, autonomous vehicles, TNC companies like Uber and Lyft. So we've got a lot of challenges, but there's a lot of opportunity. Anytime you have rapid change and rapid growth, you have rapid innovation. 50 years ago, about 40% of the world's population lived in an urban area. It's getting close to 80 now. And that's one of the reasons the Internet of Things is important. Austin is really a laboratory for technology. And if you look at what it takes to succeed in IoT, it takes entrepreneurial spirit, it takes a lot of creativity, and it takes a lot of really good engineering. And you look at the ecosystem that is in Austin, the concentration of technology companies, of hardware, of semiconductor companies, of software companies. We have all the right elements here to be a real innovator uh, in this space. What steps can Austin take to accelerate some of the IoT innovation here in our own backyard? So if you look at the fact that Austin owns its own infrastructure, Austin is unique in that they own both the public electric utility and the public water utility. The city has been able to optimize a lot of those programs and be very progressive and forward-looking because it's a public utility owned by the city. The unique characteristics of Austin allow it to implement IoT quickly and in many ways. So Austin was chosen as the home of Formula One in the United States. These cars are just absolutely amazing. Tons of sensors to figure out exactly what's going on in the car. They have about 100 megabits per second data link from the car up to the cloud. They have hundreds of people in remote locations that are reviewing that data and optimizing the car and its performance to, to figure out exactly, given the conditions, given the track, the types of tires and things that they're using, exactly how to get the best times. Google has been testing a self-driving car in Austin the last couple of months. Pretty soon, you're not even going to have to touch the wheel to get from point A to point B. You may not realize it, but artificial intelligence is all around us. Sick babies born in remote parts of the state are receiving the latest in medical treatment through new technology. One day it's impossible, the next day it's a miracle, the day after that it's just ordinary and we're very used to it. What we're going to see is a rapid deployment of these wireless sensor systems because there's value. I view it as kind of the green field of technology. It's almost a renaissance of innovation. So the problem we're seeing is that the Internet of Things and the devices are being developed faster than our ability to secure them. I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Make no mistake, these are Hollywood fantasies, but they do tap into real life concerns about artificial intelligence, or AI. You see, Austin is just one piece of this puzzle. There are plenty of other markets, technologies, and policies that are all coming together to change the world in ways we've never seen before. With an estimated $11 trillion impact on the global GDP, the Internet of Things will make the Industrial Revolution of the 1800s look like a blip on the radar.